In this video, I'm going to give you a quick peek into how we turn this ugly eye score next to our pool into a functional spot to change clothes, wash our hands, and even a space to pee. No more freezing in the AC, and we didn't even need to do any plumbing. Check it out. Here I'm going to guide you through the process of building this, but if you are looking for more details in terms of materials, dimensions, and so forth, be sure to check out my website, which I've linked in the description. I started by excavating a spot slightly bigger than the structure. Because there are a lot of underground pipes for the pool in this area, we decided to not install footers. I tamped down the spot and then laid down landscaping fabric. On top of that, I poured a layer of pea gravel and began laying down my landscaping pavers, being sure to keep them level to each other. I filled in the middle with more pavers and then began work on the structure. I built basic wall frames out of 2x3s, then attached the two sidewalls to 4x4 four four posts, sleeved with vinyl. We stood the sidewalls up opposite each other, then clamped on the back wall, ensuring all was plumb and square. I then screwed the back wall to the back corner posts. I added on the front short wall in the same way and then began building out the bench. I wanted to finish the interior framing before adding siding. I pulled out my pieces for the wash station to figure out sizing for the corner shelves. Then I took them into my shop to cut them down. At this point, I was ready to cut down my siding and attach it to the wall frames. I also installed a mobile home anchor to anchor the entire structure. Painting the outside was tough, but the inside was quite easy. I needed to really push the paint roller into the siding as it was textured, but inside I was able to just spray it with a few quick coats. Next I installed the floor joists and the anchoring hardware and got everything attached to the mobile home anchor. Now I'm definitely not a structural engineer, so please be sure to adequately anchor your structure if you are not installing footers. I closed the bench in with the leftover piece of siding and then laid out and cut the deck boards for the bench and the floor. Next, I was ready to do my plumbing. The urinal sink was easy to put together and the sink itself just sits in the bench rather than being attached. This is helpful so that I can pull the sink out and deal with any plumbing issues if needed. To prepare the wash bowl, I traced the bottom onto a piece of paper, cut the circle and folded it into fourths to find the middle. I wanted to start my pilot hole on the bottom and then finish from the inside, but my impatience got the better of me and I never flipped it over. So this was the result. I had to buy a new bowl. To prevent that from happening again, I started on the bottom to find the center, then flipped it over. Once the hole cutter reached the plastic, I used a razor blade to clean cut around the hole. Next up was the urinal plumbing. I excavated another small area by the side wall and built a planter to fit. I placed straw on the bottom and placed the hose on top. I then covered with compost and plants. To finish up, I built the door out of PVC boards and installed it with self-closing gate hinges. I also added a 2x4 pergola up top, which also helps keep the structure square. And that's it! If you would like more details on how I built this, including dimensions and product sources, please visit my website that I've linked below. And if you want to see what I get into next, be sure to subscribe. I'll see you next time!